this new robot is not only creepy, but has a unique form of motion as well. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, and we're going to take a look at this. Biomimicry is studying nature to find the designs and the structures that have been perfected over millions of years of evolution, and finding a way to harness those designs and bring them into the human world. When it comes to robotics, we see a lot of this. I mean, a perfect example is Boston Dynamics Spot. Now, I don't know where he got that weird head grabber thing from. I haven't seen that in nature, but he's based on a four-legged animal like a dog. We also see biomimicry when it comes to humanoid robots, like Atlas by Boston Dynamics as well. Well, Festo is a German robotics company whose main influence is nature. And back in 2006, they started producing robots that were modeled after animals from the world around us. One of their earliest robots was this jellyfish that swims just like a real jellyfish would. They also released this kangaroo that has no problem hopping along. They also made penguins that swim like real life penguins do. And something I found pretty amazing about this company is not only will they do aquatic versions of robots like the jellyfish or the penguin or even a stingray, but they will also make flying jellyfish and flying stingray. Basically anything that can float underwater can float in air as well. And as they've grown, they've progressed in their styles and designs. More recently, they've released this gripper that is based on an octopus tentacle and even an end effector for robots that grips using the same concept as a chameleon's tongue. So as you can see for this company, mimicking nature is nothing new. So when they came across the flick flack spider that was rolling along in the desert as its mean of locomotion, of course, you know, they were going to try to perfect this as well. And they worked on it for several years, coming up with a couple different design ideas. Like here's their earliest iteration of this project. And with some refinement, it turned into this. And all that study brings us this, the bionic wheelbot. Now, when you take a look at this robot, it does seem pretty creepy. It has those long spiked legs, the slow gait of a spider tracking its prey. And that walking gait is important to this robot's design. By having six legs working together to get this robot where it needs to go, it can clear a lot of obstacles that other robots just can't handle. It also showcases the unique joints that were developed for this robot that allow for some very serious dexterity and increase in flexibility. But let's say walking is too slow and this robot needs to get where it needs to go. That's when it becomes a transformer. Yup, the bionic wheel bot is not just a catchy name. This robot turns into a wheel and uses its extra side legs to roll itself forward. That allows this robot to cover a lot more distance in a lot less time, just like its natural counterpart can. This mode of transportation is more efficient because as you can see, it's actuating fewer limbs and it can still handle a wide variety of terrain. In fact, using this mode, it can push itself up an incline of 5%. I mean, that's a pretty steep hill for any robot. Now this robot will be unveiled publicly coming up in April. And as of right now, they don't have any plans it seems to sell it. It seems to really be more for demonstration of their technologies but I will keep an eye on it. And if they ever do offer something like this for sale, I'll definitely let you know. So what do you think? Is this the creepiest robot you've ever seen or are there worse out there? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to click that share button. And if you're new here, hit subscribe and also click that little bell icon so you know when I upload something new. My videos are generally out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I hope to see you here again soon. And until next time, just have fun and be safe.